Right now, the public protector's probe into the Palapala farm scandal has been completed. The ATM asked the public protector's office to probe if President Cyril Ramaphosa violated the executive ethics code. It relates to the burglary at Ramaphosa's Villa Villa farm, where thousands of U.S. dollars were stolen in 2020. The report is now under review for quality assurance purposes and is expected to be made public thereafter. Let's get the ATM's reaction with party leader Vuyo Zungula. Mr. Zungula, thank you very much for your time here on ENCA. Now, reading your statement, you're saying you're not understanding why um, this particular report uh, has not been made public yet. You believe that uh, it's going to also just uh, have the public asking many questions. So what are you insinuating here? Firstly, the public protector says, or her office at least says, that it has to go through quality uh, assurance first. Are you saying that reports at the public protector's office, this would be the first one that goes through a quality assurance process? What we're saying is the ATM is that we submitted the complaint in June of um, 2022. Now we are towards the end of January 2023, and the law does stipulate the report must be completed in 30 days. And from then, another report can be issued if the initial report was not completed. So for us, it was just a matter of highlighting the extent um, and the time it has taken for the report to be completed. However, we do want to stress out that we do not believe that um, with the public protector's office having so much time as well as having so much resources to actually investigate the matter, we don't believe that they will find differently from what the independent panel has found because the independent panel has found that there have been serious violations to the constitution president committed serious acts of misconduct so we believe that also we do have the side of the president's responses to the independent panel so we do believe that and um, the public protector indeed will find that and um, there have been violations to the ethics code all right, so Mr. Zungula, you know, when I look at uh, the public protector's response or her letter to you, I'm just wondering, it says that, uh, you know, she uh, likely wrote the letter to you on the 20th of January. And I know, and many South Africans would agree that seven months is quite a long time because your first, uh, you know, uh, complaint went into her office in June last year. So the 20th of January, uh, with this letter, did you inquire because you were starting to, uh, you know, lose patience? Or did she voluntarily give you the information that this, let, this uh, investigation has been concluded? No, we did not inquire. Um, mm. We got the, the letter from the public protector's office on the 20th, as, as you said. Um, but for us, it was a matter of stressing how the legislation, because we're guided by the law, the law does stipulate clearly. You get a report, um, you get a complaint. If it's an executive member, member's ethics act complaint, that report must be completed in 30 days. So that is the point we're trying to get across here. Mm. All right. So you, you feel that uh, five days, uh, today would be the fifth day since you got the letter. We don't know when exactly she concluded uh, the investigation. But uh, let's say for argument's sake, she says that she completed it on the 20th of uh, January when she sent you the letter. You feel that five days is not enough uh, or rather is too long for the quality assurance process? The quality assurance process should be done. And, you know, with the amount of resources that are there in terms of the staff that have been working on the report, but particularly the fact that they've been working on the report since June last year already. So we should not be expecting, um, you know, months and other months of quality assurance, whereas um, the report has been in the office of the public protector for so long, and the staff and the resources that are there um, should be having the uh, necessary qualifications and the expertise to produce a quality report. In our view, um, given the nature of the report, because again, the complaints on the Executive Members Ethics Act are urgent in nature because we're dealing with ethics violations. Therefore, we would not expect further delays when it comes to um, the office saying, okay, we are going to take plus minus two months to deal with the quality assurance because the report and the issuing of the report is long overdue.
Mm. And uh, just lastly, uh, Mr. Zumula, um, I know many South Africans are hoping that this report is obviously made public quite soon so that we can read through it. And you already say that you believe they won't come to a different finding compared to that parliamentary panel. Uh, so in terms of you know what you've said and what, how you've been quoted in the media about uh, uh, law enforcement institutions always siding with standing presidents, etc., is this really your belief when it comes to the Public Protector's Office? You don't think that uh, they'll be fair in, that in, in their investigation? Um, look, Masejo, it always takes um, a certain degree of courage for any person, you know, who is currently in office to find against someone who's got political power, particularly if you are thinking about your future, you're thinking about maybe um, um, being, um, you know, growing from being a deputy public protector to a public protector. That is the most natural and human um, perceptions that they are there. That is why even with the commissions of inquiries, commissions of inquiries were normally, ha um, you know, um, adjudicated by um, retired judges so that you don't have a person that is in office that is also seeking, you know, um, having interest in terms of their career growth, but at the same time, um, you know, the career growth that is still also dependent on the, whoever that is incumbent. So we believe that um, you know, we need to guard the process to make sure that um, the, the, the principle of a person wanting to ascend in terms of their career does not trump principle, does not trump what is expected of the office. As you know that most of these reports of the public protector are very contentious. So we just need to scrutinize that these reports have been done um, diligently, thoroughly, and they there is no semblance of a person putting their personal interest first ahead of the interests of the nation when it comes to abiding by the law. Mm. I just want to, I know I said that was my last question, I just want to go back to a point you made where you mentioned that uh, according to stipulated law, the public protector is supposed to take up to 30 days to complete a report and then she can review it uh, if that report was just pre preliminary. Her response to what you're saying about this is that, uh, you know, when, she, when the public protector's office uh, investigated the breach of the ethics code uh, against the minister, um, the minister uh, uh, Geraldine uh, all those years ago, it took about nine months. There was also the rogue unit uh, investigation into SARS that took about eight months. And so she's saying, you know, this is not new. Why are you being unfair on me uh, for taking this long with this report? It's a complicated one. And I had to make sure that I, I, I make sure that the investigators have all the information they needed. With the experience that comes with dealing with some of the reports, um, comes lessons learned. Lessons learned should lead to um, um, changes in terms of the legislation. Therefore, if that office felt that with the amount of time it has taken previous reports um, to complete previous reports, they should have actually taken it upon themselves to approach Parliament to say, Parliament, the law stipulates 30 days. However, when we've been doing all of these reports in the previous years, we picked up maybe the average time it takes for a report to be done, it is seven or eight months. Therefore, change the legislation to be about eight months. But even before you go there, the law states that you issue an initial report. If you are not done in 30 days, then you can, you know, um, at a later stage, issue a subsequent report. So there's nothing stopping the uh, public protector's office from issuing the initial report based on the information and the work that has been done in that 30 days. And then later on, you come back as the law is stipulating because the law has, 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 has taken into account that consideration that they may not be done in 30 days. That is why it has that allowance of 30 days, first report. Then after 30 days, when you are done um, with the report, you can issue a subsequent report. So what we are saying is the ATM on one side, mm. follow what the law is saying. Secondly, if you've got issues with what the law is saying, they can go to Parliament in that portfolio committee that they are reporting to and yeah. seek an amendment to the legislation.